Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got something pretty cool to show you from IceCo. So if you guys don't know, IceCo makes refrigerators. Um, a lot of people use them for camping, have them in the Jeep, stuff like that. But they just came out with this camping cut. Now here's the crazy part. They didn't just reach out and give it to me. I didn't buy it, but I did win one of their giveaways. They posted on Instagram if anyone wanted to test out their product and I didn't reply yes or no. I just put a fire emoji because the pictures look really good. And I guess I won their contest that I didn't know that they had. So they ended up uh, sending that to me. I didn't even know until like a week after the contest was over and they announced the winners. That's when I found out they DM me asking for my address. I'm like, what the heck? And I gave it to them, they sent it over. So let's go ahead and open it and see what it's like because I've never slept on a cot. So I mean, one of the things I've noticed is how small this box is so I kind of like that I expect the cot to be small too and just to show the size I mean if you have a WJ it literally fits in this side of the hood it's not too big maybe like a foot long I don't know it has these straps right here so you can tie other things onto the bag that's pretty nice ice cold branding here so let's go ahead and open it and set it up there it is that's freaking dope okay so that is everything that comes in here I'm guessing these are like what hold you up three of them and these are all the legs for them so i'm going to figure out how to put this all together and time it and see how long it takes me to put it together mind you i don't have any instructions just going off of the pictures that they have posted these do click into place so that's pretty nice i would keep the rubber bands on the red part that way you never lose them these just hold the the arms in place that's pretty cool i don't know exactly what these are for but we'll figure it out okay so we got three of those i'm going to take the little legs now i'm going to keep the rubber band on one of them okay Looks like these just snapped into place. Now we're gonna take the longer sticks and these I assume will go onto this piece here. Oh, look at that. These are actually cool because they have that nylon uh, like stretchy rope, so they just click into place. There it is. So now we're gonna take this and slide it through. So now we got all the rods through the cot here. So we're gonna start putting these pieces on and there's like openings in between the cot where the pipe goes through this is honestly a lot easier than I thought it would be to put together so included is this mesh piece here which you can actually use to put like your shoes on or something like that this is not flat ground here but I'm envisioning when you're going camping there's not always gonna be a flat spot but I'm gonna go ahead and test it out so that was easy to put together didn't take much time the time that I'm giving you is with me recording as well so you got to take that into account you might be doing it faster I feel like this is something that a kid could put together as well so if you go camping with family you can have your kids set that up and the cot actually weighs only six pounds once it's in the bag so it's not really heavy at all you can carry this strap it to your backpack or something and it's rated for up to 300 pounds so I'm about like two 35 240 so let's go ahead and test it out see if it can carry me so you got this slot here you can put your wallet phone whatever and then you got uh, another piece there you can put some stuff let's see oh like I said this isn't flat ground there's like a lot of roots and stuff going through so it's kind of tight here on the shoulders I'm also a side sleeper so let's see from the side like can I get comfortable if I had a pillow I feel like I could sleep like that. So I was editing the video and I was like, wait, something's not right with this bed. And it was 100% my fault. This is what it should look like. You see how it's super stretched out? Like this is tight. I had accidentally, see those red rods down there? I put them in upside down so they were going under instead of over, which made the bed not as tight. And the crazy part is I did sleep on it like not like this the other way around and it was comfortable so i can only imagine that this is actually going to be comfortable as well so i'm laying down here and you can see my shoulders don't get hit by the bars like they did before it's actually super comfortable and yes i did stand up on it and it is way more sturdy than before and the reason that it has this piece here on one of the sides of each of the bases is because you put it on the metal bars and then you come down stretch it and it's a pretty tight stretch and it locks in place and it's good to go that's how you set up the bed properly not how i showed you in the video i was doing it without instructions but either way i'm super happy with this i'm sure this will be way more comfortable but now that i actually have it set up properly i do see the value even more definitely way more comfortable and it was already comfortable to begin with with the improper setup Ooh, i just noticed something while i was coming down here i actually heard something hit and i guess it was the bumper oops anyways let's continue with this video i would say my shoulders are pretty wide and it kind of gets in the way i think i could definitely sleep on that it keeps you off the ground as well all you would need is a pillow and then a sleeping bag and i think you could definitely sleep on here comfortably i wonder if i could just stand on it so i'm going to try standing on it and see if it can hold me up just standing 
That doesn't feel very great, but it does hold me up. And this is what it looks like from the backside. So I couldn't make this video without letting you guys know what it feels like actually sleeping on it. So I don't have any camping trips planned or anything like that. So I actually ended up setting it up in my living room. I didn't record it because I was just sleeping, but I put it up in my living room. I did use a pillow and my normal blanket. And honestly, I had a pretty good sleep. Like it, I did not wake up throughout the middle of the night. I was not uncomfortable. I just needed that pillow. And I think that helped me with my shoulders. You know how they were hitting in the video. So definitely take a pillow with you if you go camping with that thing. I would say this is better than just the regular old camping with a sleeping bag on the floor or using like the inflatable mattresses and then a sleeping bag on top. When you just use a sleeping bag, you can like feel everything on the floor, you know? And then we use those air mattresses. They make so much noise while you're moving around at night. That's so annoying. And I think that's where a cot comes into. It's just comfortable sleeping, honestly, and you're off the ground, you know? It's just, it's nice. I actually liked it. So I actually got to go test it out while camping, not just in my living room, but as of now, I'm actually happy with this. And to set it up in this video, it took me five minutes and 47 seconds. But when I set it up in my living room, it was like a minute, maybe two max. Once I understood how everything goes together, I was able to just do it really quick. And also I wasn't recording. Recording actually adds time to whatever you're doing. So thank you to Iceco for allowing me to participate in your giveaway and winning it and sending it over. I'll definitely try to get some use out of this. The times that I've gone camping, which have been like a handful, have been in a tent with a sleeping bag. So I'm curious to see how much of a difference this is gonna make. Anyways, guys, we'll see you on another video. Peace.